Enough is enough. GOP lawmaker calls for purge of officials at politically corrupt FBI and DOJ by Jim Hoff for thegatewaypundit.com. Representative Francis Rooney called for a purge of the politically corrupt officials at the FBI and DOJ. Representative Rooney joined Lou Dobbs on Tuesday night. Rooney called for a purge at the FBI and DOJ in December. Rooney was ahead of this uh, time, or of his time. Fox Business, FBI purge, subpoena, DOJ FBI officials, Representative Francis uh, Rooney says, Representative Rooney, no one would have assumed or foreseen the depth and the rot you were talking about. Uh, who could have thought such an unconscionable behavior uh, could have been conducted right inside the DOJ and FBI? Let's take a listen. Wow. Unbelievable. Catherine Harridge reporting. Well, in the last 48 hours, we've learned more about the deep state and public corruption involving two of the most important law enforcement and national security institutions, the FBI and the Department of Justice. Every member of Congress now who has read the classified intelligence memorandum detailing FISA surveillance abuse seem deeply disturbed, to say the least. Our next guest is calling for the release of the classified documents and demanding a purge of officials at the politically corrupt FBI and DOJ. Joining us tonight is Republican Florida Congressman Francis Rooney. He's vice chairman of the Foreign Affairs Committee. Uh, Congressman, good to have you with us, first of all. Uh, this is now reaching a level that I don't think uh, many anticipated, and that is uh, two institutions that are at the foundation of the special counsel are obviously corrupt and working against the public interest. Well, first, Lou, thank you for having me on again. I really appreciate it. The, no one would have assumed or for, foreseen the depth of the rot that you're talking about. Who could have thought such unconscionable and outrageous behavior would be conducted right inside the DOJ and the uh, FBI? That's why those memos need to be released let the American people uh, see what's happened here. And, and your reaction to the four-page uh, memorandum, uh, the, the, and all that we are learning, missing uh, text between uh, Page uh, and, and Strzok, uh, as if it was just a, uh, you know, a, a sort of an offhand, one-time uh, affair, not a continued series of glitches that seem to keep evidence away from investigators. No, I think, I think the two words pervasive rot are what come to my mind, and I think a lot of Americans are going to feel the same way. Is, and, and where do we go here? I mean, you know, we have uh, some of the most respected congressmen uh, uh, who serve with you, yourself, everyone talking about this, yet the American public still has a wall between us and the truth. And how soon can we expect to see those documents, to make a determination? Not as Adam Schiff, the, uh, the radical left congress from California put it, he said, we are too stupid to understand that we the american public uh, i've never heard such an excuse uh, such silliness or such insult from uh, a, a sitting congressman i felt the same way when i read that this morning it's one more example of this intellectual elitism of the progressive group that, that is has nothing to do with what built this country and what's going to continue to make this country great again uh, and how soon do you think we will see the memoranda see the evidence uh, and then I wanted to conclude with one other question, but I'll hold it till you answer that. Well, I hope soon. Uh, time's of the essence. I mean, uh, the, I joined in the letter to the speaker urging that he uh, release that material as soon as possible. I, I think he wanted to let the dust settle on the uh, government shutdown problem that we solved. And uh, now I hope they'll do it quite soon. I think you're going to be shocked. Well, to, to tell you the truth, I, I, I am not... Uh, I don't think I've uh, failed to be shocked even to this point. Uh, I knew that there was corruption. I knew that there was an effort to uh, uh, to subvert this president, but the degrees, the dimension uh, to which it's uh, risen are uh, extraordinary. Uh, do you believe uh, that the president should hold off, and I'm asking for your counsel on this, just uh, and your theory and your view, 
do you believe the president should permit uh, uh, Robert Mueller to talk with him uh, so long as there is so much question about the two foundation institutions for the special counsel, that is, DOJ uh, and the FBI? You know, it's, it, you, you tend to say, why not talk to him? Because you got nothing to hide. And obviously, after all this page turning and tree killing, they haven't found anything at all. But on the other hand, you're right. The, the rot in this investigation is so deep that the, connecting all the dots of all these different people, they all keep going around in the same circle. And now this revelation today that they're talking about a, a confirming what we've been saying about a deep state, I just don't know. Congressman, as always, good to talk with you. Thanks for being with us. Congressman Frank. Thanks for having me on. You. The whole thing is it's because Trump got elected. The corruption existed for decades in the FBI and DOJ. They just didn't believe that Hillary would lose the election. And when Trump came in, that's when they had to show their true colors because, in a sense, they were going after Trump. The corruption was always there. With Hillary in office, none of this corruption would have come out. But now that they were uh, trying to remove Trump, their dirty deeds are coming into light now. So it's like a cleansing of sorts. But yeah, this, uh, this lawmaker wants to purge uh, the DOJ and the FBI. And uh, unless he does that, the deep state uh, is going to control him. That's why... Uh, the purge, you see? He calls for the purge of, all, of the officials at the politically corrupt FBI and DOJ. The, there's no other way around it. You have to get clean people in. But how do you find them, you know? Because you have to remove all the dirty people from within the agency. Anybody that's dirty, but I'm sure that uh, they were investigating these things on the sidelines. That's why I think they have the information. And that they say they lost the text messages. I don't, I don't uh, believe that for a second. Uh, but this is what's taking place here. Um, they, they, they have to remove it. And, and all of this was going on for decades, but and would have continued beautifully under Hillary Clinton. Now Trump got in, they exposed themselves. They exposed themselves by their hatred for Trump. They're exposing themselves, and then they're going to go to prison. A lot of people are going to go to prison for these things uh, because this is uh, uh, treason against the country at the highest levels. They're going in, believe me. Let's have patience for that memo, and that memo is going to shock a lot of the libertards. They're not even going to believe it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, and again, thank you so much for watching.